Hi, y'all. What is up? What is up? What is up? What is We're back. Thanks for joining us. If it's your first time, thanks for stopping in. Let me fill you guys in on what we have been doing. Oh, man. The saga continues. We have been piddling, but making big moves. I wish I'd have got a little video yesterday, but I didn't. But I'm going to fill you in on this. Guess what happened yesterday? We got to go. We were thinking a trailer for interior pieces. You know what that means? You know what that means? That means the interior is in the works. I'm so excited. I can't stand myself. I mean, Lee Smith isn't half as excited as I am. He's excited, but he's got a hundred other things on his brain. Guys, I have been ready to get this interior story forever. We found the most fabulous people in the world to do it. And they came up and got some of the pieces to start the cab. And I got to pick out the colors for the buttons. And oh man, I am beside myself. I have been excited all night about it. I've been ready to get this interior started since before we got the truck painted. <laughs> I don't know why. I just think interiors are gorgeous in trucks. And this one, you guys know, Dirty Deeds deserves to have just as pretty on the inside as she does on the outside. And the ones we've got doing it, these are the best people ever. And I'm gonna fit I'm gonna take you guys with me. <clears throat> maybe down there when we go pick it up, or maybe when we go drop off the button pieces, because I want you guys to meet them too. If you don't know them already, they are some awesome people, and we know that they can do the best, the best job on this interior. I'm so excited. It's little things like that. I am beside myself about it. But any ever hoot, let me show you this. So, before we got started, before we went and dug out interior out of the trenches, you see this? Oh, gosh. I'm showing you guys just because I thought all you guys were my friends. I did. Thought you was going to be on my side. But here they are. I had to polish this one out yesterday. Wah. Still ain't polished the other one out. Putting it off like the plague. But if they're going on the truck, they've got to be polished. So, and you guys were all like, yeah, grab handles and go all the way around. I was so disappointed. <laughs> but uh, they're going on. So, but at least they're shiny. They're shiny. Beautiful. So at least if we're going to have uh, shower rods on the truck, they're going to be shiny shower rods. <laughs> anyways, anyways. So, <clears throat> Lee Smith's been doing the absolute most, too. <clears throat> He's been taking more stuff apart. Imagine that. Hang on a second. Hang on. So, look at this hot mess. <laughs> Oh, gosh. So, Lee Smith. What's that? What have you done here? I thought we were on the anti-taking-stuff-apart mission. You got to take it apart to put the floor in. I mean, there's wires and gauges well, and that, buttons. That, oh, my. Like yeah, okay. All right. You might be right. Eddie ever hoot. <clears throat> the floor. See what he's done here? See what he's done here? He's put this mine in here. Do you want to know why? Let me fill you guys on it, uh, in on a little secret of Dirty Deeds and what we're doing with Dirty Deeds. Okay. <clears throat> so we've got excited. Man, Lee Smith. Right, Lee Smith? Does he look excited? Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> God. Could you pay attention for a minute? Tell him what you're done. So he's got this rubber mine in here. Got everything trimmed <clears throat> just how he wants it. You, know, you guys know why? Lee Smith, tell him why. What are you even talking about? The floor. I ain't got this. This is the old mat come out of it. We're going to use this as a pattern to make our floor. That's okay. I had to get the dash and stuff out so everything can get to everything. But why do you need a pattern for the floor? 
Go ahead. Well, so you can cut it out in one piece. That way we'll go try to slide it in here in one piece. Acrylic floor. Oh my gosh, he's not gonna tell you guys, so I'll tell you guys. So what he's doing is, he's doing this, and then he's gonna cut him a wood uh, template. template, and we're gonna pour the acrylic floor. We're making a template to pour the acrylic floor in this, and I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah. Yeah, we'll make the new acrylic floor and put our colors in it. Yeah. Red and the bunk. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Use this for pattern, get it all cut out, and then we can get it all fitted in here. Yeah. But I'll do a wood one out of thin plywood. Trim them off to get it in. Right. You know, so so it, so the acrylic, we don't have to fight with it. Yeah. 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 Hang on a sec. Okay, so the thought is we're gonna do it's gonna be black and then it'll have the close to the candy pearl raspberry and silver marbly through it. Yeah. That's the go, right, Lee? That's the go. That's the go. Should look good. I would love to become a professional at this. Oh, I is professional. Oh my gosh. Jeez, oh paint. <laughs> I can't, I can't deal with this guy. Any ever hoot. <laughs> Any ever hoot. So, that's what's happening with that. So, we got interior in the works. Uh, we got to wait on the steps to come in to start the acrylic floor. But I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm taking you guys all the way through that process. I want you to guys see us. I, blah, blah, blah. I want you guys to see us pour it. I, got, I want you to see us all the steps through it. This is our first time. And... Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. It's either going to go real good or real bad, or it's it's either going to go real good or real bad. <laughs> but we're excited about it. So there's those two big things. So, lace man, mm -hmm. what else we're doing? We're about to hang a door, ain't we? We'll hang this other door. We got to <clears> hung. Yeah, let me show you guys that. He hung this other day. It looks nice. Look at that. Just a little bit of justin on it. With that chrome around the door. And then I think it looks beautiful like that, but of course he's gonna put his bar on there. You should probably put that on since it's over polished it. Yeah, I'll get them too. I gotta cut them here in a day or two. We gotta put the chops on there. But what do you think, guys? How does that look? Man, looking more and more like a truck all the time, Lee Smith. Yep, it is. More and more every day. More so, work you do, the better it gets. Yeah, so. <laughs> That's where we're at, guys. Um, don't know what all we'll do on this video today, but I know for sure we're gonna hang this door right now. And then we'll go from there and see what comes up next. So stick with us. Yeah. Oh, we got it. Not the razor up.
Well, a paddle of rice ranch would be real nice right now. Well, I like it, man. Yeah, five sixteenths for each ranch. I'll go try to find one here just a second. Something zipped these up a little quicker than this. Yeah, I like so. Maybe a sound. Sure it's got it. Yeah, I can do it. Okay. Go on, hold Watch your mirror, then. Yeah. Just a minute. All right, so there is that. Didn't drop anything, didn't break anything. Lee cussed a few times, but you know, that's normal. All right, so, got another door hung. All right, y'all, so while Lee's tightening them boats, we have recruited some help. Yep. This is my youngin, Case. She's on spring break this week, so. Finally got some help down here. Get this truck together. Thank goodness. The troops have arrived. She's doing some filming, helping us with that. Well, so we and Lee both could work. Heard some snide comments about that. I just hold the camera all the time and don't do nothing. Maybe you guys can well, do a little something now. <laughs> but, that might but, be something to that. Really? <laughs> just playing. I don't know. I'm just playing. Really, Lee? <laughs> okay. I see where we're at. <laughs> Anyway, she's able to do some of the filming, so that's gonna help with that. She's been to, she cleaned out these the floor and stuff the other day for us. But uh, yeah, she's, she's been helping a little. Yeah, she's behind the camera right now, and she's been cleaning some of the. She's cleaning, working on. We working on cleaning them uh, the dash stuff. The lady decided to rip out at a high rate of speed. Yeah. But, thank goodness for the help. We got her till, well, you know, she goes back to school Monday. Well, I'm gonna go for half a day. So. Uh, oh yeah, only half a day. I mean, I wish I could only get half a day for Eclipse. Does that count here too? Oh, is that Monday? That's Monday, yeah. Yeah, you can't travel yeah, Monday at three o'clock-ish around here. Yeah, we're all gonna go psycho apparently. I mean, it, it ain't a far trip. They didn't have to wait for the eclipse for you. But. Oh, my God. He's really on one today, guys. Anyway, I mean, he's really been on one. But did he ever hoot? Doors hung. That's pretty exciting. We got to do some adjusting to it, make sure everything's right. We got to adjust the other one a little bit, and then we'll have a cab with two doors. Exciting, exciting. One step closer all the time. It almost looks like a truck. I mean, it's getting closer and closer to being ready for us to go work on that frame so we can set it on the frame. And Maybe that's the month. Oh my gosh, that would be the bomb. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be pretty. Or so. Yeah, it's supposed to be pretty tomorrow. Like, we should go work heck down on that frame. I think me and you, sand, Sanders in each hand. Well, I figure Desk you line. and Casey with sandpaper in your hand, and I'll do the film one. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So, so there again, guys. Lay's the type. You notice me polishing and doing all this stuff all the time. Lay's the type that he likes to dust off jobs he don't like to other people. You're like, hey, you need my help? And he's like, ha, ha, bet I do. You're going to the trenches. That's who you are, isn't it, Lee, as a person? <laughs> Definitely don't want to be you. It's got to be done. <laughs>
Okay, so, Lee Smith's over there adjusting on doors. Looky here. Okay, wait a minute. I wish I had it before. Okay, see that crap? Ugh. It's rickety. It's cracked up. Looks like junk. You see how shiny this is? So, Casey's over here doing the most child labor laws, she said earlier. <laughs> We have gotten this stuff. This is cool stuff. Look at the chemical guys. Restore. Vinyl rubber plastic restore. And it seems to be working pretty good. Flip that over. Look at there. Nice. Woo. So dry. It's almost black again. I like it. I'm digging this stuff. Let's see. We gotta do this dash. I think we're gonna do this plastic piece too. These usually look like pure junk. This one looks a little crusty, but I think sprucing it up a bit with some of that stuff will be good. Let's see. Seeing this dash definitely needs it. Oh Lord, help it! It's seen its better days. Same as Lee Smith. <laughs> okay, so here's this. Here's the before. Give you the before shot. I'm gonna do a little sanding and polishing. I might let you guys watch a little bit of that. I know you guys are about sick to death of watching me sand and polish and all that good stuff. But there's the beforehand. Let's see if we can make this thing look a little better. Hopefully. Oh goodness. Is this polishing ever going to end, Lay? No. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, gosh. No, this sanding only happens once, though. Unless you decide to go reckless and get into something crazy. Did you drill those into the wood? Yeah. Because oh. <clears throat> I was trying to do them on my lap the other day, that one. Mm -hmm. And then you're doing that in and this side pings against the floor. So mm. you're defeating the purpose. You're just beating the crap out of one side of it to do the other side. So this. Helps it. Yeah. Well, it keeps it stable so I can get all the way around it without smacking it against the floor. Mm. I don't hate smacking it against the floor. <laughs> but I feel like at this point, it doesn't matter if I, if I bent one and two, leave it unbended and still use it. Even if it had a giant gash even, in it. Even, even if, it doesn't matter. I think he's doing it out of pure spite of me now. That's okay. You As you guys said, like... these guys got on to me the other day, they were like, well, you gotta realize it's his truck. You're right, it is his truck. But I can give him crap about one thing that I hate. They do look like shower curtains, rods, but they don't look awful. They don't look awful. It's just, I don't know what you're talking about, but I'll let you pick out what color black interior is going in this truck. <laughs> you let me pick out, he let me pick out the color, the color of the buttons, guys, so I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah, yeah, the, he, he, and the tone of black. Ha uh ha. -huh. Well, no, the color I would pick. Yeah. yeah, and then he steps right after, he's like, well... I mean, it might look okay with it. He can't ever just be like, good job, little buddy. That's all I asked I just for realized that. you didn't go pick up the 600. I did. That's okay. I think we can get it with this. Okay. Uh, all I look for from this guy over here is a good guy, little buddy. Good job. Did good. And you know what I get? What he just did. <laughs> Every now and then I get a well, it looks a little better than it did before for the polishing. He's, he's nice about, to, about my polishing, and, but I think that's only because he hates polishing so much. He would die a million deaths before he'd stand over here and do it. Did you just accidentally spray the little side? No, I gotta get it well, all the way through. Wow. Because, so it keeps moisture on it because you don't want it to get be dry. Oh. Hence, wet sanding. Yeah, it keeps it dry so you don't get the scratches in. It helps keep from having big scratch marks. Don't come over here starting, Lee. I'm busy. 
I've done time about you. I got, guys, he did. I was very excited. They brought the color swatches, and there was so many to choose from. Oh my goodness. But I'm pretty sure. I'm mm, it's pretty like a sure. cherry red, right? Huh? It's, no, no, no. It's, 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 I think it was called some some kind of red wine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Brandy wine. Brandy, yeah, brandy wine. And, uh. Nice. Yeah, she showed it to nice. me yesterday. It looks really pretty. It's nice. I'm excited. I can't stand myself. All the events are going to be that color. There's going to be a couple other spots that are that color on black. And that inside of that truck is going to be hot. It's going to be awesome. Are you gonna put a, you guys see it. Are you gonna put a bed in the bunk or just something else in the bunk? He's talking about a couch. What are you talking about putting a couch back there or something? Crazy. What are you putting in the bunk? You gonna put your, your bed in there? Oh, it'd be regular bed. I put down. I did talk about it. If I could put the uh, do away with the bed and do a couch. Do a love or a love seat or something? Well, we I think that would look pretty good. You might fit the bunk. Yeah. I think the love seat will look pretty good. It would be cool. It could be cool. If it was going to be used just for going to shows and stuff, I would. Because then that way, you know, more than one, two people ride. Yeah. Well, Lee is highly still on the fence. He may end up going back trucking with old dirty day. I'll probably have to go do a little bit later. Yeah, I have to pay for the thing. I know. Oh, gosh. I was going to make a snide comment about the truck stop, but I will not do that. Yeah. Huh. Nice. It's almost like it was meant to do that. Like. It's like it was adjusted to do that. Yeah. How big is the bunk? Huh? How big is the bunk? How big is the bunk? Yeah. It's 63 inches. Deep. And it's, how wide is that? Well, just to give her a comparison, it's about six inches longer than she is. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> she obviously got, I <laughs> she obviously drank too much coffee in these past few years. It's done it her gross a bit. We give her crap. It's it's okay though. See, I'm five three, so I don't get to meet. I don't have people around me very often that are shorter than me. That are in the four foot range. <laughs> Tell them the perks to being short, though, Case. There are no perks to you being stand short. Up in the cab. Yeah, oh. without hitting her head. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I even I can't do that. I don't remember go, what show, go show what Lee's doing out there. He's got a rattle pan something. Uh, well, you just spray painting the wind, those are windshield wiper rubbers. Blade, yeah. Or wiper arms, I'm sorry. Yeah, we primered them. Now we shot some paint to them. Now we put another coat of paint on them. So that's just black spray paint, right? Just, yeah, just old black spray paint. Uh, um, Getting the windshield wipers? Yeah. Yeah. Put another coat on there. Yeah. Now we'll get this rubber seal around the top of the gilder. This will run under there. Oh, yeah. Oh, if I'm not. Yeah. So down, 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 down. I don't understand why you don't know all the way around. Well, they tested things up and bad or not. Well, they tested things up better than I have. <laughs> Let's see what they got on there.
So at least. Well, that don't look too bad. It looks nice. I think, I, I swear, I thought they were supposed to go all the way around. Lee Smith says that Peterbilt doesn't do them all the way around. Well, but, see the cushion? Like, I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know why you would just have it on the top and on the bottom. Do any of you guys know? If you do, let me know. Because like, I'm confused. I he just said he wasn't doing it all the way around it because Peterbilt don't. So, I don't even know why Peterbilt don't. Question for the ages. <laughs> but, that got that done. And so, there you have it. Door. Door that shuts properly. Now back to the polishing. Shiny shower rod in three counties. <laughs> Let's see what Lee Smith thinks. If I can get him over here. Lee Smith! What? Oh, he's busy. He's grouchy. Hang on a second, guys. Let's see what he's doing real quick. What are you working on? Just bought this little pit all rubber stuff in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, that new rubber seal looks real nice in there. Well, this ain't new. Oh, that ain't new? Oh. Yeah, I don't want to put new in there. Right? I, yeah, I, I looked okay up there, but. Out of it. Yeah, you're right. I don't want to run it. Run my nose. I'll use these here just to adjust my doors and stuff with. When we get all done, then we'll put the new ones in. Yeah. Would you like to come over here and look at your favorite piece? See if you approve? It's shiny, I approve. Go see. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Missed spot right there. <laughs> One right there. Well, special right there. But other than that, it looks beautiful. <laughs> Always complaining. Always. That's the prettiest shower rod I've ever seen. I know. Right? <laughs> Looks good. All right. So now you have your two gushing handles. Good All right. So, now let's do overhaul. So, what all have we done today? Well, besides run our mouth and cuss a few times, let's do walk through. Got these dash pieces looking pretty shiny. They're still drying out. I'm just, uh, yeah, we're going to get something put on them. Yeah, they make ceramic spray. Yeah. <clears throat> so, how cool is that, guys? I don't know if y'all have ever heard of it or not, but I've just come in contact with it. Uh, it's like the ceramic, uh, coating you put on your paint or whatever during the summer that, that holds up and stays super shiny. Well, they've got that for plastic. I didn't know that was a thing. Maybe you guys did. But it looks like it works pretty awesome from what I read on it and the pictures I've seen. It's pretty awesome. So, now that all this is done, we've got it conditioned because these guys, these pieces have been set for a long time with a lot of weather and a lot of sunlight to them. So I think Case did the dash a little bit, what she could get to of it. So it's conditioned up. We still got a lot of, uh, we got to peel some of the, that's the old tape where stainless was before. We'll peel all that off. And then like I said, we'll try, I'll let you guys, I'll uh, fill y'all in on how good or not good it was once we use it okay so there's that then we got both doors working nice 
Nice. This one ain't got the rubber seal in it, yeah, but no, no. Yes, it does. That's it's just a little one. Oh, it's got this rubber seal in it, but it doesn't have this rubber seal. <laughs> There's other guys around. Yeah. But anyways, look at that. Clothes nice, pretty as you please. This side over here. Bam. Same way. Nice, nice. Got the old seal in it, but like Lee said, <clears throat> I climbed in the other side earlier and the new one was in and he about had a heart attack because my boot got on it. I don't blame him because they look real nice new. But look at that. Uh, bam. And then we got the ugly grab handles polished. And all these over here trying to shine up a few pieces, a few slices. He's got his vents over here scrubbing on them. The plastic, I don't know why that would work. It's got a cleaner it's in it. Cleaner, yeah, right? it's got a it's got a cleaner that'll break mm -hmm. it'll break some of that old stuff down maybe. <clears throat> but guys, I think that's it for today. It's been an eventful day. We've got some stuff accomplished. We got some help in here with us. We got Lee Smith being a crab all day. I mean, but Dirty Deeds is doing big things. Dirty Deeds is almost a full cab. Very little left that we have to do. We're gonna get some door chops for that, uh, for the doors, so that they line up with the visor. Um, we're gonna, we're really gonna do the most. Guys, this week, this week, be watching out for videos, because <clears throat> Lee's gonna try to run to, uh, I think he's gotta go to Georgia to get the uh, PVC board that he needs that he's wanting to use for it. So he's gonna make a run down there and pick some of that up. And uh, when he gets back, I think the rest of the stuff we got ordered for it, to do it with, comes in Tuesday. And guys, I'm gonna walk you all through that whole process. So keep eyes peeled for that video uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow, uh, if it sounds like we got recruited, I'm ready to get started on that frame. I ain't even sad about it. If the weather's pretty outside, we may go down and start sanding heck down on that frame. Cause guess what? The frame gets done, and then when this beautiful cab is done, the last few things we gotta do to it, get to set it on the frame. And how epic is that gonna be? Man, truck's coming together. Truck is coming together. It is, seems like it's took forever, but it is getting better and better every day. Ain't it, Lee Smith? Yeah. Man, a few words over there. Better all the time. Better all the time. <clears throat> but, guys, as yeah. always, what? Oh, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And, guys, if, you, if you're just now tuning in, if you're just now tuning in, Make sure this ain't your last time because this truck, these guys, you guys that have been here with us through it all, you all know that this truck has come from something. Guys, if it's your first time to coming in, let me tell you, go and rewatch some of our ogre videos because you can see just where this truck come from. And it never ceases to blow my mind how far it's come. And we've been doing this, this is, it's been six months. About six and a half months, and this is how far it's come. And good Lord willing, creek don't rise. She'll be seeing sunlight come May 10th and 11th. That's our hopes and dreams. She's going to be at large cars and guitars, and I cannot wait. But like I said, if it's your all's first time coming, roll back, watch the first video that we put out, Dirty Dudes. You'll get to see her. A uh, couple videos after that, you can see us driving her. <laughs> With no bunk. No nothing. Uh, not in her best, not in her best shape. <laughs> but anyways, guys, you for y'all that keeps following. I love you guys. I thank you so much. And make sure you're passing it along, y'all. Make sure you're telling your friends. Like, share, comment. I live for the comments. I appreciate every time, and I'll never stop preaching it. Y'all's comments keep me going, and y'all's likes, shares and views and all that stuff keeps this channel going and guys i wouldn't want to i wouldn't even keep doing this without you all so make sure you tell everybody because this truck is really starting to take shape and i don't want you guys to miss a beat of it i'm going to take you all every chance i get 
to everything we're doing with this. So there's videos coming out all the time. I tried to drop an extra couple this week. I'm gonna keep doing that. Look out for shorts. Uh, one of you guys had said y'all wanted a live with me and Lee when we had time to sit down and maybe bullcrap with some of y'all and get some questions and answer some things and this, that, and other. And we're gonna try to do that here shortly. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be this week, but I'll let you know. I'll post it. Check out the comments. Keep watch for that. You know, I always let you guys know when I'm trying to do something like that. So, uh, let just make sure you watch out for that. That way you can, you can get in there. We want to talk to you. We want to talk to you live and see no, what. I've always got a story. Yeah. Lee Smith's always got a story. He. Four years, I've got <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's trucked. He's trucked for forty years. He's got stories. I know y'all got questions about everything. Heck, we don't care. Uh, whatever questions you got, some of y'all ask stuff in the comments. I try to answer everything y'all ask, but uh, we want you guys to get to know us. We uh, we want to talk to you. We want to get to know you too. So check out what. Keep watching for that because it's gonna happen. Like I said, here the next little bit. And like I said, I'll make sure I'll give you all notice before we do it. That way you guys can be sitting somewhere where you can talk back and forth with us. But guys, I'm going to get out of here. The sun's getting ready to go down. And it's time to eat. And it sounds like we got a long day of sanding tomorrow. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you on the next one.